Well, I like them. They don't look too bulky. Sean Wise wants to be one of the first Canadians to buy Focals, a new brand of smart glasses. My question would be, does the holographic image then appear outside of this? A tiny projector on the arm of the glasses sends images to the right lens, emails, texts, maps, weather and more. The Canadian company behind the product believes it's destined to be an international bestseller. The opportunity for this is really you know, a, a global kind of mass market opportunity. We see it as the, the next uh, step in the evolution of, of consumer technology. But we've seen smart glasses before. Swipe down anywhere to go back to the timeline. Google introduced a product called Glass in 2012 and quickly became the butt of jokes. I'm watching videos of idiots wearing these glasses and not paying attention to the world around them. Another problem, the product didn't look cool. Really was associated with geek culture very quickly. This technology expert says there's huge money to be made for the company that gets it right. In my view, in terms of wearable computing and wearable technology, smart glasses are the holy grail. Whatever company can get um, consumers to buy and use smart glasses will really make it. At head office in Kitchener, the Focals product has been in development for five years, based in part on learning from others' mistakes. The company has attracted $140 million in investment from heavy hitters like Amazon and Intel, who see the potential. It also lets you stay kind of heads up um, and present in the world around you and, you know, not be that person who's walking down the street with their, their head buried in their phone and almost gets hit by a car because they're just so distracted. What can I do with this? Time for a demonstration. I'm going to just simulate you getting some, some <laughs> messages here. Oh, text show up right from your phone. I'm reading from my glasses there you go. here. So there's a microphone uh, in here somewhere too. Exactly, there's a, a microphone in there and so you know, you're not gonna compose a long email or anything like this on it, but if mm -hmm. it's like, hey, running 15 minutes late, see you shortly, you could just send that quickly and, and fire that off. The and there's no camera. There's clear value from a use case perspective of having a camera and smart glasses, but there's mm -hmm. also obviously a ton of privacy concerns and, and social implications. Got a bunch of frames on Friday. Privacy concerns could be a stumbling block for Focals. We live in a data sphere that's using our data as a commodity, right? So the privacy implications haven't been explored yet with this new product. We don't know much about it, what that will be like. Oh, now I'm starting to see it. For now, though, the biggest issue is getting more than just tech aficionados like Sean Wise to spend $1,300 on yet another smart gadget. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Toronto.